In this video, we're going to try to see what a standing wave looks like when one end of the medium is fixed and the other is not. We're going to use this long beaded chain for this demonstration. I'm going to hold the chain like this and twirl it. In doing so, I'm going to excite the standing wave on this chain. The top end is going to be in my hand and will therefore be fixed, while the bottom end will be left to move freely. This means that we can expect the top end to be a node and the bottom end to be an anti-node. If we start twirling, we can see the simplest standing wave. This wave involves a node at my hand and a second node about three quarters of the way down the wave. Let's see if we can speed this up and get more than one wave in this chain. So there are two problems here. One, I'm really bad at this. For reasons that just aren't totally clear, I've never been able to figure this out. Secondly, my camera's not doing a very good job of picking up the beads because of how fast they're moving. As with the previous example, I found a video on YouTube that demonstrates this effect much better than I can here. Check out the link in the description in order to see this effect in real life. 